I live in an area where I've got a, a hog confinement uh, just built about a half mile east of me. I've got another hog confinement built a mile south of me. That's Iowa. You know, I live in the country. I expect things like that, but I don't expect things like coal plants to be built a mile away from me that are going to cause little children to get sick, going to cause older people to have more problems with their breathing. I know we need electricity, but we can do a whole lot better. And uh, I think it's time for us to start. And that's why I'm here today talking to you, because it's time to start making a change. We've got to put a moratorium on coal-fired power plants. I walked with uh, James Hansen of the Goddard Space Institute. He's a graduate of Iowa. He's got three degrees from the University of Iowa. He's got his uh, BA, his MA, and his doctorate, all from the University of Iowa. And he says, we have to put a moratorium on coal-fired power plants. We are going to destroy the planet if we don't start making some changes. We have a governor of Idaho, a Republican governor. Last year in 2006, Governor Jim Reich said, we are not going to build a $1.8 million billion dollar coal-fired power plant in Idaho because the health effects of that coal-fired power plant are going to far outweigh any economic benefits that we're going to receive from it. Just, in, uh, just this summer, Florida stopped two huge coal-fired power plants by the Everglades, about a $3 billion project because of the mercury emissions that are going to be coming from those coal-fired power plants. Again, that was Charlie Crist, a Republican governor. This isn't about politics, this is about morals, and it's time to start protecting people. And if people don't get involved, we cannot count on our, our state legislatures, we can't count on our governor to stop these things. It takes people with some courage. And that's gonna come from the bottom up, not the top down. My name is Don Schatzer. I live at 6515 Newell Street, Waterloo, Iowa. I've lived where I live for 52 years. And it's, you know, I love where I live. We all out in this area. Many of us have been here for many, many years. And uh, to have a coal-fired power plant come in here and disrupt everybody's lives to ship power to Chicago, New York, St. Louis, Minneapolis, wherever, we don't think it's right. And I think we need some help. And we're looking for people to help us. Today we're located on the Merle Bell Farm. And right where we're standing right now is where the coal plant's going to be setting. Uh, Merle Bell is a gentleman that's lived here his entire life. He's 76 years old. He's quite an interesting fella. Uh, he's <laughs> given me a lot of history on the background of this, of this Bell farm. Uh, it's been in the family for nearly 150 years. We were going through some papers the other day and he showed me a, a paper dating back to 1870. We're going to be having a rally out here on Merle's farm on September 9th. That's going to be a Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock. Uh, we're going to have food. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to have some speakers. Uh, we're going to have some music. Uh, uh, it's just going to be an afternoon of raising awareness about where we are with this coal plant, what's going on with this coal plant, and how ordinary citizens who did not get to vote on whether this coal plant should be allowed to be built here or not are going to be given a voice, and they're going to raise their voice on Sunday, September 9th, and we're expecting over a thousand people for this rally. Uh, we're going to send a clear and strong signal to the leaders of Blackhawk County, to our legislature, to our governor, that you know what, we are tired of business as usual and we're ready for some changes. And I guess that's what it's gonna to take to do it. It just seems a crying shame to see all this stuff go. And a coal plant sitting here. It it's really not good. Uh, we here in Iowa, I've got about the cleanest air around this area in the Midwest. And why they want to make us like the rest of the country, I don't know. <laughs>